Hello friends, this video on structure of atoms part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's understand a new concept called valency. It is the combining capacity of the atom. We have studied in the last chapter that valency is nothing but the combining capacity of the atom. And the out electrons present in the outermost shell is called valence electron. Please note, outermost shell electrons are called valence electrons. This is an outermost shell. For example, in this case, lithium, this is the outermost shells. Two. Here, one, two, and three. This is called valence electron. Carbon, therefore, valence electron. Nitrogen has five valence electron. Oxygen has six valence electron. Fluorine has seven valence electron. Neon has eight valence electron. Similarly, if you see, sodium will also have one valence electron. Hydrogen will also have one valence electron. So if you see any elements in this particular period will have one valence electron. If you see here, beryllium and magnesium both have two valence electron. Right? Similarly, boron and aluminium both will have three valence electron. So valence electron is nothing but the number of electrons present in the outermost cell. So there are two definitions. Valency is nothing but combining capacity of atom and valence electron is nothing but electron present in the outermost shell okay and we have seen that the, as per the Bohr theory outermost shell can have at the max 8 electron that means you can have at the max 8 valence electron correct because theory says the outermost shell can have at the max 8 electrons okay and it is also observed that atoms of element having completely filled outermost shells for example neon and argon and helium they are inactive and they are chemically inert and they are called noble noble gas because they are all gas or you can say noble elements also they are noble elements or noble gas so in this case their valence electron is 8 helium is the exception it has 2 but other has 8 right so valence electron is is 8 but valency is 0 the combining capacity is 0 it won't combine as I told valency is nothing but the combining capacity of atom human there are two hands octopus eight hands so human valency is 2 octopus is 8 you can assume that way as well helium neon argon they all noble gas they don't interact with other gas so their valency is also 0 but their valence electron is 8 or 2 in case of helium Right. See, this valency or the combining capacity can be explained as the desire of a given atom to combine to attain full state. To attain fully filled outermost shell ok the desire of atom to combine to attain fully filled outermost shell that is called valency see atom would actually react to attain the outermost cell for example you see hydrogen and oxygen oxygen has 6 valence electron hydrogen 1 so oxygen wants 2 more so it will react with two more hydrogen and form eight. So two it will share. It will have six electrons, valence electron. It will share two more with hydrogen. It will be happy. Similarly, hydrogen had one. It will be happy with two only because that is the k orbital. It has maximum two. So it will also share with oxygen and both will be happy and they will form compound called water. You study more about this in the higher classes when you see how the atoms combine to form compound and in that case it is all the valency in the valence electrons which plays the role it is the valency which determines whether a particular element is inactive or not for example helium neon argon valency is zero that says that it is not active where lithium hydrogen sodium the valency is one it shows that they are reactive Okay. 
So thus the atom will react to attain the outermost filled shell, that is the octet shell. And this is actually done by sharing or gaining or losing. For example, this is the case of sharing. You talk about NaCl. Sodium had one extra electrons, outermost, uh, sorry, outer valence electron is 7. Chlorine has the valence electron. Sodium has the valence electron of 1. You see here 1. Chlorine has valence electron of 7. Just see the outermost shell. The other shell I am not writing. 7. So now what will happen is sodium will donate one electron to chlorine. So sodium is happy by donating, chlorine is happy by accepting, because chlorine will get 8 electrons in the valence shell. This is the example of losing and gaining of electron. So it is a different kind of bond called ionic bond. This is the example of sharing of electrons. So it is called a covalent bond. So you will study about this kind of uh, concept in the higher classes, ionic and covalent bond. So in one case, the electron is actually moved from sodium to chlorine. Sodium is happy by losing electron. Sodium is happy, octet is complete. Chlorine is happy by gaining electron. In this case, both hydrogen and oxygen was in the need of electrons. They told, okay, let's share the electron. So both shared the electron. In this case, hydrogen, uh, sodium wanted to get rid of electron. Chlorine wanted electrons. It was a transfer of electron. So bond can be formed in any way. Okay, so the number of electrons gained, lost, or shared gives the combining capacity or the valency of a given element. Okay, so why one valency is more uh, reactive? Because losing one electron is pretty easy, easy task. So if I have 10 rupees, somebody asks me to give me 1 rupee, I am okay to give. But if I have 10 rupees, somebody asks me 9 rupees, it is a difficult situation for me. So losing electron is pretty easy or and if that is giving some stability to the atom, that is the extra factor for electron to lose electron. Sorry, for atom to lose electron. So they lose electron easily and they are typically metals because they lose electron. We will study about these the higher classes. Okay. And if you see here, the same uh, slide, but if you see here, we will focus on valency. Hydrogen, the outermost electron has, uh, shell has two electron. So it is not stable. It either needs electron or it can give electron. So the valency is 1 because it either gives a 1 electron or takes 1 electron or share 1 electron. Helium outermost is has 2 electron. K can have at the max 2 electron. It is stable. So valency is 0. It won't give electron. It won't take electron. Lithium outermost has 2 electron. L can have at the max 8 electron. So it either needs 7 electron or it can give 1 electron. But nobody will give 7 electron to this guy. So it has to lose one electron, so it has valency of 1. It means beryllium, outermost electron cell has 2 electron, at the max 8 electron is required for to attain stability. So it needs 6 electron or it has to give 2 electron. Nobody will give 6 electron to this guy, so it loses 2 electron to attain stability and thus the valency is 2. Similarly, boron, outermost has 3. 5 more required to form octet, so either give 3 electron or take 5 electron. Giving 3 is pretty easier than taking 5, so valency is 3. Carbon, carbon is 4, it again either gives 4, takes 4, share 4. Anything is possible, so 4 is the valency of carbon. For nitrogen, outermost has 5. Either give 5 or take 3. Giving 5 is difficult, the lesser number of electron transaction, the better it is. Taking 3 is pretty easy. People like boron can give the electron. So in this case, valency is 3. Same thing oxygen, 6 electrons in the outermost shell. Either it has to lose 6 electron or gain 2 electron to attain stability. So gaining 2 is easier than giving 6. 6 is a bigger number. Same thing with fluorine. Outermost has 7 electron. 1 needed to attain stability or has to give 7 electrons. So giving 7 is difficult. Taking 1 is easy. So valency is one, it will take one electron. Since it is taking one electron, it is typically non-metal. You will see that chlorine is non-metal. In case of uh, sodium, let's say, outermost has one electron. It is easy to give one electron, then it could take seven electron to attain stability because at the max, we told, right, the outermost will have at the max eight electrons. It right? will not take 18 here. We will take what one because this is the outermost cell. It can have at the max eight. So either give, uh, accept seven, or give one, so it will say, okay, let me give one. Since it is giving one, it is metal. 
and that's how it is. So let's take some questions. How will you find the valency of chlorine, sulfur, and magnesium? See, chlorine atomic number is 70. So 287 is the electronic configuration. So this is 7, that means it can either take one electron or it can give seven electron. Giving seven electron is not visible, taking one electron is visible, so one is the valency. Sulfur atomic number 16. That is 286. So either it takes two electron or it gives six electron. Giving six electron is not visible, taking two electron is visible. Valency is two. Magnesium 12 atomic number 282. It can either give two electron or take six electron. Taking six electron is not visible, giving two electron is visible. So valency is two. This is valency two. Valency is two. This is valency of one. Okay. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.